Who this? It's Gundir. Gundir. It's not Gundir. It's not Gundir. It's the Beheaded Knight. Chill, bro. He has no chill. Good morning, everyone. It's Kai on the Ready Game. I'm back here for more Dark Souls 3 The Convergence mod, and today we're gonna try and find out what's in the space of the Dragon Slayer's armor. Because it's obviously not the Dragon Slayer's armor, right? Why would they have it on here twice? That wouldn't make any sense. Oh, sacred item. I swear, if it's another Outrider Knight. I don't know who that was, but, um... Yeah, we got the Wing Knight Twin Axes now. And the Chime of the Crypt's Conquest. What is all that noise, man? Or the Outrider Knight set, excuse me. Keep this child. Let's see what the Outrider's Knight set looks like. Uh, increase frost resistance by 50 and increase strength index by 1. That's not bad, but it's not very good either. There's not exactly a frosty area in the game that we have yet to go through. As far as I know, the only likely frosty area would be, um, Irithil, but, like, we've already been up here. Hello. Swords. Ugh. Ugh. Kinda sad we had to leave our spider buddy behind. He was my friend. I'm gonna fall. I'm not gonna fall. See, that's so strong, dude.
chemist, bitch. Open the gate and then make our way forward. Cool. I just got a partial on an NPC who was standing still. stand a chance. I might actually go back to the other sword, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it might, but uh, let's be honest, am I gonna? Maybe not. Can you beat that cool? No? Then I don't want to use you. Because that's what it's about for me, is looking cool. Never really giving a damn about being super strong and care about how cool I look. And I know some people will immediately go, that's cringe, and it's like, really? You don't care about how cool you look? Like, I'm not sitting here saying that I care about that only, obviously. Uh, like, I guess I did literally say that, but uh, you know what I mean. That's not the only thing I'm actually concerned with. What I'm saying is, instead of using the most powerful thing for my build, I will probably use the thing I think looks the coolest. And you can take that one to the bank. Because friggin' I use all kinds of stuff that's not the best for my build. And just do it. This weapon just happens to be the coolest and the best for my build. Where is the frickin' Lothric Knight hat? We must have passed it. Oh, that's Cathedral. Here. Reduces weapon stamina consumption by 2%. Is that what it does for the whole set? Yeah. Aww. Well, that's lame. Very lame. What the hell is that? I heard something. Oh, this is open. Hello, bonfire! Oh, nice! I don't even need that shortcut. I think I missed that. <laughs> I still opened it anyway. Yeah. That's weird, you can never get in this room from that side, so how does it know to say it like that? But I guess they just programmed it that way. Hmm. I want to 
see what's this way before we venture around behind the Sunburst Covenant. There's something close. Slam, cool, cool. Okay. Hmm. Wouldn't it be sick if you could look over here and actually see what's up there? Like you could see what boss is there before you even get there. That would be really cool. This doesn't work, right? Yeah. Alright, let's go around the other end of the sun rose. Hopefully someday they return my frames to me. I don't think that was there before. I added damage. Looks like this place has actually been under assault. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. I was all like, we're gonna finish Dark Souls 3 today. Yeah, right. I might record one more session, and that'll probably be it. No chance. Lothric Knight. You have the power of light, but I wield the power of dark. Did that say the unknown band? Oh no, the battle mage band. Increases physical damage by 15%. Why is it called the Battle Mage Band if it increases your physical damage? Is it because it's something that mages would typically wear, or...? I just don't feel like it would be. I don't think this drop will kill me. Whoa! Did you guys see that? Nope. We fine. Yeah, that's weird. I was hearing strange noises from down here, and I thought maybe... Well, I, I was hearing strange noises, and I thought maybe they were coming from down here, but... I dodged. Good try. Sunlight. 
street sword. Eagle of Light. Okay. I was expecting a, um, what do you call it? Um, oh yeah, I was expecting a lightning buff, like, uh, like the Ring Knight Straight Sword. I don't know why I was expecting that, but I was just hoping. I was like, ah, oh, dude, that would be so cool if they give you some friggin' lightsaber powers, but no. No lightsaber powers for you, Solnair fans. None for you. It's only for those who wish to wield a red lightsaber. See? I can even make a red and black one like this one. Because I'm a boss. Who this? It's Gundir! Gundir. It's not Gundir. It's not Gundir. It's the Beheaded Knight. Whoa. He's a little too laggy to parry, if I'm being honest. Yikes. That's not what I was trying to do. Yeah. If I hadn't gone for the parry, I wouldn't have messed that up. But that's okay. I didn't realize it would be more difficult to parry him with the lag until it was too late. Although I do kind of want to try. a lot more. Dude. Yes. I can parry you even with the lag. Bring it on, bitch. Okay, just because I can doesn't mean I should. Yikes. He sends me ages away, dude. We're each just trying to hit our special shit. Yes, yes, that was so much fun.
Dude, I really liked that. That was super cool. Also, it even kind of fits the theme because, like, uh, well, I'm not really going to spend all this time going over why, like, headless knights are part of the theme, but, uh, you know how you're supposed to offer your head to the basin after, uh, beating the dancer? Yeah. So that's why he's headless. That's awesome. I really like that. Okay. Hey! Ah, salutations, Ashen One. Thou art in luck. I have recently acquired several new curios that may pique thy fancy. <laughs> oh, yeah? What kind of curios? Oh, you're an alchemist, are you? That's cool, dude. He's got the... Okay, maybe he doesn't. I was gonna say, I think he's got all the remains of stuff that you need to buy uh, upgraded gear. King of the Lost. Increases strength, dex, intelligence, faith, and luck by two. Jesus! I want that. That would be really strong. Very good, my friend. Hang on. What rings do I actually have on? Increases dark attacks. I don't think we're actually using dark anymore. I think now we might be using blood. Oh well. Alright. Oh wait! That's right! I forgot all about that, dude. Friggin... The door doesn't open unless you have all the previous Lord Souls, right? Oh, but it's opening. Okay, good. Alright, we got candle boys. Weird. No crystal siege. You were not ready. Fighter! He running. I think I hear a crystal lizard. But I don't see a crystal lizard. Actually, it's probably up there. That's good. I like that placement. And I just left this guy here, because honestly he was fine. That was funny. Oops. Okay. So let's see. No, we are still doing dark damage. Alright. Never mind them. Because I was thinking maybe it would just have increased the bleed by a crap ton, but it doesn't seem like it does. It just has cool ass red and black flames. Why?
bastard was sitting there invisible, like a punk. Uh, he's gonna be firing on us this entire time, isn't he? Expected an enemy. It doesn't seem to like tucking enemies away in corners, which is honestly a good thing, but like, at the same time, it doesn't feel very Dark Souls because of that. Oh, wait, I totally forgot. Because, like, Dark Souls does not give a fuck about you, right? So, like, when it surprises you out of the corner, that's it basically saying, yeah, we're legit just trying to kill you. Ooh, the hands are, like, clear now. Couldn't tell for a minute there. See, like, I thought this whole thing was going to end up as a bleed build. Hello, whoever you are. You really think you're gonna get me with that? Yikes. He was not ready. Rude. Rude ass wizards. That was weird. I thought I had seen an invisible enemy behind me, but I guess not. Got a rewax. You know, keep the ladies happy. I say, having never waxed in my life. Something tells me with as hairy as I am, waxing would hurt like a fucking bitch for me. Waxy no more. I'm not entirely sure how the wax mechanic works either. Like, I wish I knew. Maybe it's if you get hit in the head, friggin' it scrapes the wax off a bit. But honestly, I just don't know. See, like, I thought it was if you get hit with a fire weapon, 
the wax will go. Because that makes sense, you know, wax melts. So if they hit you with a fire weapon, your wax will melt and you won't have it no more. Not right or night? Not right or night. And timer. Good news though, I was ready. Yeah, this is really the only enemy that's worth it. Oh, nothing... Oh. Okay. Didn't need that literally at all, but whatever. Please let me free. Thank you. I feel like there's a chest hidden back here somewhere. seeing one. Oh, maybe he's trying to attack the cursed hands or something. You would. Coward. Attack, what are you doing? Okay, at least we got him. There's no way he went back to the beginning, did he? He actually might have. Motherfucker. Ah! The curse. I am it is, damn it. Alright, well. Take that down. That's so weird, like I just went up and rewaxed, but it still went off. I think that might be a glitch. Maybe it's a glitch in the mod. Because I'm sure that's not as intended. I don't think that's how it normally works. I'm pretty sure when you refresh it, it stays refreshed. Which is why I keep trying to do it. Alright, we got our fall control potion. Now we just need some of this. Not that. God damn it didn't turn before I jumped. There we go. The Avalon, just as it was in the normal game. Oh yeah, can't go that way. Man, those fall control potions don't last long. I feel like it should be at least like three or four minutes. You hiding down here, bitch? No? I know I didn't kill him.
How the fuck is that crystal sage hiding? Coward! where you drop back from it. <clears throat> uh, I was supposed to end the episode when I wanted to hunt down the Crystal Sage before the end. Maybe he'll be up here or something stupid. Alright guys, well thanks everybody for watching. I've been Kaiba on the Renegade. If you like this video, please leave a comment. Tell me... Hmm, I asked a lot about Elden Ring. Uh, tell me what your favorite Souls game is and why in the comments. So I'll see you guys next time. Hope you have a great day. Bye bye Hi, I'm Jim the Hollow, and you should like and subscribe to keep the Age of Fire burning.